Hi there! This is a video tutorial on how to fill out the client forms. After you cut your hair and mail into the laboratory with your blue order form, come to Wellness Shopping Online and click the Forms tab here. First time customers must always fill out the membership form. If you are filling out a retest, you can skip this process. You click on that link, you type in your name and email address. Scroll down, click the date, put your name or if you are filling out the form on behalf of your child, still put your name. Fill in your email address one more time. Click the blue button, sign with Adobe eSign. And then you wait a moment and another screen will pop up with a yellow start tab so you click on the yellow area and another window will pop up so you have to scroll up and you will type in your name click the blue apply button scroll down to the bottom again then you see the red tab telling you to click to sign Then you're going to get another screen and it says a signed copy has been sent to you. Now close that window and you're not done yet. We won't get your submission until you come back and scroll down on this form and you see that it says signing complete. Click this submit button. This is very important. As soon as you click that it says please wait. Then you get this message. It says thank you. Your submission has been received. That is how you fill out the membership form. Now the hair analysis uh, initial or retest forms are very similar. So we're just going to go through this example real quick because it is a little bit different. Fill in your date. Your order ID number is on the uh, order confirmation that we emailed you. And so you just put that number in there. Put your name and for sure sake of uh, this example I'm just going to put in a character because whenever you see a field with the red asterisk that's mandatory so you're going to need to fill those in so I'm doing that right now Then, if you have a prior hair test, tell us yes. If you know your laboratory number, that's fine. It's not a mandatory field. Now, you have all these boxes that you can fill out information in, and then you have this box here. So if we didn't have enough room in the field above, you can write comments there. So. If you don't fill something in there, it will give you an error message. So if something doesn't apply, just type in NA. But I'm just putting in a character just to bypass a mandatory field. And on the end, if you happen to skip a box, it'll give you a red error message and then you can come back up here. And then you can, you know, check whatever might, you know, apply to you here. Then, if you have a family member, a friend, a significant other that you would like us to be able to uh, communicate your results or anything like that, you would put their name in there. A lot of people put my name, your practitioner, Eileen Durfee, but I'm already, you know, getting access to your information. So this would be like a family member or a friend. And if their email address is different than, uh, than yours, then you can put that there. So again, you would type your name, or if you're doing this on behalf of your child, you would still type your name since you're the guardian. And then your email address. Click Sign with Adobe. 
We're waiting uh, for this to pop up the other window. Again, you're going to see the Start tab where you click to sign and scroll up to find the box and then type your name, click Apply, scroll back down, click to sign, then you're going to get this message here, but you're not done yet. You have to close that window and then scroll back down to the bottom of the form. It says signing complete and you must click the submit button here. It says please wait. And then it will go to a blank screen that you scroll up and you'll get that message. Thank you. Your submission has been received. And that's exactly how you fill out the client forms and if it's been successful you will have received an email confirmation and a copy of the form. Thank you very much.